have an afternoon class. You know, how are you guys doing? Good. Good. Okay. So, um, just a quick review. Last uh, unit, we learned um, about Middle East. Now we move to a new unit is talking about um, a Silk Road. So, before we talk about that, I want to give you guys a um, paper. So, I want you guys to write down answer uh, for my question. First the question is, do you guys have any products that come from China? If you have, say yes. Yes. Yeah. If you have, say yes. Who wrote yes? By everybody. Wow, not surprised me at all. So, um, can you share with us what the products you have come from China? Soap. Soap yeah. from China? Yeah. And can you share us what your parents, how did your parents get those products? They went to China or they just bought it in my country? Oh, in your country. Yeah. How about you? How's your parents got those Chinese products? In the shop. In the shop, in, the, in your country, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have all kinds of <coughs> different products that come from China. <coughs> but how do they travel? from far away China to your country, Korea, Hong Kong, yeah? Mm -hmm. Hong Kong, right? And Fiji, how did those products travel to there? In the plane. In the airplane or a boat, a oh. ship. But imagine like thousands, thousands years ago, do we have airplane? No. How did that product come from, uh, came from China? So that's today we're gonna learn how um, Thousand years ago, people start to do business from China. So that's today's topic about Silk Road. So after to, after today's class, I want you guys can summarize what is Silk Road and when it happened and why people start the Silk Road and how this happened. So. What's the word for today? The fourth, fourth word? First what? word? What? When? Why? How? 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 And when you summarize, I want you to use keyword to summarize. That's our language objective today. So when you summarize, you can use Romance, China, Silk, Trade, Camels, Products, Travel, qual Qualities. That's all the word we're going to use today when you summarize. So you're going to learn. Um, so before we talk about silk road, what is silk? Anybody? Table of clothes? Table of cl clothes. So what kind of, why is different than other clothes? So today, for this class, I wear my silk clothes. Um. So you guys can touch it and say why it's different. How do you feel when you touch it? Smooth. Smooth and very so light. I feel oh. so comfortable. So touch your own clothes. <laughs> that's the difference, right? So that's the silk, the products that they treated at that time. The main products. Of course, they have others as well. And before we talk about those, um, the whole story, the whole history, I wanted to show you guys some um, vocabularies that we're going to use today. So, so after the vocabularies, I want to sign you guys into a group. It's a group reading. So I will talk about that later, but we can do some vocabulary first to understand. Um, there's a person in this uh, article, Alex, Alex Der. Do you know um, who is this person? You show in the movie. So, can you please read this? What is this name? Created one of the largest empires, empires in ancient history. So he created a whole empire during that ancient history. So, 
There is also a word say BCE. I want you, when you really pay attention and highlight this word. Um, so BCE is basically a, um, a word that explains a time. So when we see BC, like a year, 20 um, BC, that means the birth of Jesus Christ before. Everything happened before Jesus Christ born, we say BE. So 20 years before Jesus Christ born. How about, how about this? What's this mean? 250 years before Christ, Christ born. And then here we say BCE is basically the same thing. Uh, it's just to take off the air, the year. And then after, that's after Jesus Christ born. So that's BCE you can read in your article. Then what is this picture showing you? So a tiger. 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 He's angry. Aggressive. That's this word. Mean. How to read it? Try to pronounce this word. Aggressive. This word? Oh. Fierce. Fierce. Okay, that will be in the reading too. How about this one? Traveler. So those people, they ride horse and that time they travel from country to country, different places to places. How about this one? Trade. Trade. What are they doing? Exchange. Exchange things. So that's why the Silk Road people exchange stuff to either money or products they needed. So, um, Catherine, can you read this? Oh, trade is the activity of buying, selling, or exchanging goods or service between people, things, or countries. Yes, so when you read trade, you will know, oh, that's when people between countries, between people, they exchange stuff. So that's a thousand years ago they do this. Right now they steal. What is this word? Merchant. So, what does merchant mean? Can you tell us? Uh, it's a person who buys or sells goods in large quantities, especially one who imports and exports them. Mm -hmm. So, like a business person, they selling stuff, they buy stuff and sell others. That's all merchant. Okay. How about this one? Front. Frontier. Frontier. Look at this picture, a country's border, probably. Let's read the definition. One, two, three. Um, a frontier, frontier is a border between, between two, two countries. countries. Yeah, two countries. How about this one? Conquered. Good try. So conquered is um, when two group of people fighting, one is winning, that's when they conquered, oh. yeah? Think about the history, a lot of fightings, wars, people start to conquer another country. Okay, this one is very important because we, we will use this word in our summary as well. So, what does this one mean? Look at this picture. Give a guess or read the definition. A group of people. I mean, they ride on the animals and they go together. Yeah, that's a group of people. They travel together, use animals. In this picture, what did they use? Camel. Camel. We're gonna use this word also. Cam. Cam. Okay. So that's all the word we're gonna use today. Um, in the reading, so if you see this word, you, you're not sure, you can raise your hands. I will put the slide here, you can look for the definition. Now I want to put you guys in a group, so I will have you each um, a reading. It's all the same reading, so, but I will give you a color pencil. You can choose um, four different colors four different colors, because you're going to highlight um, those different questions, use different colors.
color that you like. Okay. Okay. So now I want you to um, sit in a group, move your chairs, and sit in a circle. Sorry for those who want to move. And sit in a circle. And the first thing you read on your own, I give you three, about two, three minutes. And then you gonna highlight the sentence that can answer those questions. What happened, when, why, and how. So if you have those vocabulary questions, you can raise your hands. Just give you a couple minutes. Question. Yes. Can I just highlight more than one? Yeah, you can highlight more than one. There's some probably good question after. Probably there's more than one sentence can answer one question like how they do trading, how they mm -hmm. bring things. You can highlight more sentences. So raise your hands you think you highlight sentences that can answer at least the two, two of the questions. Okay, everyone. I'll give you probably one more minute.
what you guys have done. I want you um, to talk with your partner and in your group and see which sentence you highlight are the same and share with your group what sentence you highlight are the same. Okay, start to talk. I want to listen to you guys to talk. Just share the same sentence. If the time they do trading was um, about like thousand years ago, mm. what did you write? I just highlight in three to nine B C E. In the beginning, the guy just found out, and also for a very long time, the answer to promise that one time. Discussion. Now I um, write this word here. I want you um, probably can you help us to write down the time here that you um, highlight because I saw you highlight the right answer. Just B E. Good job. Thank you. So when is the Silk Road happened? Before Christ? Yeah, before Jesus Christ born. Um, right now, um, it's like 2016, yeah? yeah? So, plus this, like hundreds more, that's thousand years ago. So, like, and tell us what happened in this article. What happened? Why people do trading stuff? Because they like silk. They like silk. Mm -hmm. Like you just filled my clothes. Yeah. It's soft, it's smooth, it's light. People wear it as a, what's the word they use? Um, here, what's the word they use? Softness and luxury. luxury. They feel is their identity is mm -hmm. high class. So that's why they do it. And how? Uh, animal. What kind? What what animal is using? Camels. Okay, so good job. And now I have this um, picture here. You guys can see. I have our language objective words for today, and how you're gonna put in your own word using this picture. This. Uh, who did the treaty with Chinese? In the article, the Romans. Romans with who? Chinese. Chinese. What are they doing? Trade. Trade. Trade what? Silk. Silk. Silk is the main products. They have others. We're gonna learn later on in the other class. How did they do it? With the camel. Trans camel. Travel, travel, travel in a in a group in a camel. So this is our word. This is a picture that can remind you. I want you guys to put away your article right now. Mm -hmm. Just flip it back. So, who wants to try to give us a summary? There's a word and picture. Pretty easy, yeah? Who wants to give a try? Or you can think. Catherine. Yeah, I can try. Okay. Put my own word? Yeah, just look at the word. Look at the picture, can remind you what happened in the article, then tell us. Okay. Remember to use the language object word. So, long time ago, <laughs> the <laughs> Romans and China, their relationship is so close because of, uh, because of trading uh, and also and then because and also Romans have good production of silk, uh -huh. silk gold. 
and if that can help the relation get better, and also romance and uh, vegan the the camera animal to travel. Good job. Who's next? Me. Okay. <laughs> the the Romans and China, China. They trade together, and the favorite thing they trade was silk. Mm -hmm. And they use camels to travel from place to place. Good, simple and easy and clear. Do you want to give a try? Sure. So, um, the product a um, long time ago they used for trade was popular is silk between Romans and China. Yep. But they were using their camels to, for transportation for the trade. Good job! You guys are awesome! So, now as a review of the class, before we finish, and I have this, um, I have this short video you guys can watch as a review, so just uh, two minutes. So when you listen to this guy talking, um, he speaks pretty fast. But don't worry, just uh, think about the main four questions that we're focusing on today and listen to what he said in just a few minutes. Reshaped the lives of everyone living in Africa and Eurasia, as we will see today. Let's go straight to the thought bubble. As previously mentioned, the Silk Road was not a road. It's not like archaeologists working in Uzbekistan have uncovered a bunch of yield signs and baby on board stickers. It was an overland route where merchants carried goods for trade. But it was really two routes one that connected the Eastern Mediterranean to Central Asia, and one that went from Central Asia to China. Further complicating things, the Silk Road involved sea routes. Many goods reached Rome via the Mediterranean, and goods from Central Asia found their way across the Pacific to Japan and even Java. So we shouldn't think of the Silk Road as a road, but rather as a network of trade routes. But just as now, the goods traveled more than the people who traded them. Very few traders traversed the entire Silk Road. Instead, they moved back and forth between towns, selling to traders who take the goods further toward their destination, with everybody marking up prices along the way. So what they trade? Well, silk, for starters. For millennia, silk was only produced in China. It is spun from the cocoons of mulberry tree-eating worms, and the process of silk making, as well as the techniques for raising the worms, were closely guarded secrets since the lion's share of China's wealth came from silk production. Okay, now is a very short um, summary the guy did, but um, we got a lot of uh, more information added to our article today. For example, they say why those silk is very expensive luxury for people because it's hard to make, right? Only Chinese people know it at that time. No other people, no other people from country know how to make it. That's why it's very expensive. And then what else did you learn besides our article from the video? Okay, so you ship both. Yeah, shape and bolt for treat at that time. Good. Um, so before our class end, I want to give you assignment for today. It's very short. So I want you guys to um, to write a very short response to a question, at least the five sentence. So you can take up your paper and write the question down so you can give a response tonight. So, at least how many sentences? Five. Five sentences for tonight. Just the answer how treating is different today than thousand years ago. Think about in the earlier beginning we said how did your family get the products from China? That's how it's different. Okay, any question about today? Oh, we're done. Thank you. I press the same thing. Yes, and